What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. Today we will have another look at Defector, but this time with the Valve Index and the Index Controller. So a lot of people ask me how and if we can play Defector with Revive, because some of um, the community didn't manage to uh, get this to work with the Index Controllers, but I can show you how it works and that it works. So at first you will see gameplay and I will show you how that works. And after that I will show you how what you have to do to make this work with the index controllers and revive my name is Woody. you can find everything about vr and ar on my channel thanks to my official patreon sponsors wood goes vr donkey gamer opperman events and peter wasmeyer let's have some fun with defector on the valve index and let's go Okay guys, welcome to the game. This will not be a normal gameplay. I just want to show you that this game works with the Valve Index controller. So I, I come a little bit closer to the camera so you can see I have the Valve Index here and also the Knuckles controller here. And if you, if you see when I do the grip movement, you see he's doing that in the game as well. That's awesome. Also when I touch the the thumbsticks and the grips and the trigger that's awesome it, it works really good but of course there is no single finger tracking because it emulates the touch controller and the touch controller from Oculus does not have precise finger tracking only these three fingers at once but however it's awesome and look at this we can also grab the weapon here if we uh, let it go then the weapon falls on the ground so this is pretty accurate it's really cool we can shoot here we can use the buttons as the same as with the um, controllers of the oculus so b button release the munition grab this munition put it in here and it's reloaded put it back here and that's awesome so i i know a lot of people have problems with the thumbsticks of the of the index controller so i will show you how that works with my controllers so if you just move the thumbstick forward you go normally just walking and you push it inside then you will run you see that i let go and then i push it in but i have the same problem it does not make a click sound when i move it forward and when i push it in it does not make the click sound but it works it works you can see i'm running when I push it in, but the click sound doesn't occur. So this is pretty bad from Valve that they didn't check this before. However, I don't think that I will send the controllers back for now because if you send it back now, if you want a, uh, an, another controller with without these problems, then you perhaps have to wait several weeks or months until you get your controllers again. And this is uh, not so good. <laughs> So let's play some minutes here. I have no idea what's coming uh, here. Let's go inside that building. Uh oh. Who was that? Uh oh. No! You can even destroy those walls. That's awesome. Didn't, didn't notice that before. Oh man! Did this idiot throw the grenade against that wall in front of him? Haha, <laughs> idiot. So let's load. I have to be honest guys, this game is more fun <laughs> with the index controllers than the original touch controllers. It, it's more immersive because you can use that grab uh, movement and <laughs> it just feels better than the Oculus touch controllers. And even, I know the Oculus touch controllers are also awesome, but this is even better to be honest. So if you for any reason have two both headsets, I would... I would play it with the with the index controllers and the valve index. It's awesome. Where can it? Oh. 
No! Oh, that, that happens sometimes. You, you have to get used to that grip movement, of course. Whoa! Did he just shoot me? I didn't... <laughs> what the... That's insane. He just killed me with one shot. What the... That's bad. I know you're coming here. Reload! Holy moly! Wasn't there another guy here? No. So, I will stay behind that wall here now. Wow! So this is our energy or what? I think so. <laughs> what the? Hi guys, I'm uh, not doing you something bad. Just stay here. It's a lot of action here. Hi. You survived this? Awesome. Let's go there. Whoa! There's there's something for me, but let's. F okay. Medikit. Nice. How can I? Put it here. I don't know. You can't let the thief escape. Stop him at any cost. Stop him. Fuck. This is a boss fight. Where is he? Oh no. Die! Where is he? Let's reload. Got 
Ooh, that was close. Come on! Woohoo! New enemies incoming. Holy moly, how many energy does he have? Not much left. That's bad. Wow. And now? That's it. That's it, guys. So, yeah, that's it for now. And let's get back to the studio and talk about it. So. Okay, guys, that was Defector on the Valve Index. And as promised, I will tell you how that works. So, many of you have a problem that it doesn't work, it doesn't start or the controls doesn't work and I tell you why this is the case. This is very easy because you have not the newest version, that's it. So just go to this page here and then use the, the newest version here, um, the version 170 pre-release, download it, it's an uh, execute file. Windows says it's a, it's a dangerous file because it's an injector, but you can go, just go to more information and allow, then install it, then go to Steam VR, open Oculus, and then go inside the menu for the Valve Index controllers. It's with the, with the small button here, and then go to revive and start Defector, and you will see it will work with the version 1.7. Oh, so yeah. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> um, if you don't know the game, Defector is a very cool action game uh, with a good story and it's 20 bucks and I can totally recommend it. Of course you have to buy it on Oculus and then you have to open Oculus and you, you need that for revive. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and if you want to support me, go via my Amazon link and buy any stuff you like for free. You can support me then and uh, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya!